Hi, my name is Ryan Dark, and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer here at Go Engineer. In this Go Engineer Quick Tips video, I will be showing you how to create the following geometry. Um, it's a common question that we get here in our tech group. How do you make a helix that follows a pathway? Um, in order to do this, we actually won't be using the helix command at all because the helix only goes one direction. Uh, in this case, we're actually using a sweep to accomplish something that is a similar geometry. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this sweep here. And we're going to take a look at the sketches that defined the sweep. Uh, the first sketch I had created was the pathway that I wanted the helix to, to wind around down. Um, it's just a straight segment, a curved arc, and another straight segment. Notice how all of the segments are tangent one another. Um, that's still a requirement of all sweeps. Uh, the profile is a little bit different than other sweeps, though. Usually you have a profile that is somehow intersecting one end of the sweep pathway. In this case, I've left it completely off the sweep pathway uh, because it's going to be wrapping around the sweep pathway and not running down the sweep pathway. So uh, one more thing to note is if I rotate this sideways, you'll notice that the profile itself is actually not orthogonal to the pathway's end either. It's in the same plane as the pathway. They're both on the front plane here. Uh, and that's to make it so that as it twists around the pathway, it'll make the geometry. If we do the classic set up the profile so it's perpendicular to one of the ends, uh, it'll make kind of funky geometry. So. Let's go ahead and create a swept boss base, picking my circular profile and then my non-linear pathway. So now we're going into the options of the sweep. We're going to change the orientation and twist type from follow path to twist along path. And we'll change this from degrees to turns. And I'm just going to put in 20 turns press tab there so it generates a preview for me. So now this is a preview of a basic helix-like structure. Um, it's a helix in the straight sections and then it's not really a helix in the curved area but it's still twisting around it um, which is the best you can hope for for a helix that's going to follow a pathway. Now if I bump this up to like 50 turns you'll notice it takes much longer to generate but also when it generates you'll notice that there's going to be intersections right in here where my my sweep pathway is twisting very tightly. Now this won't generate because sweeps cannot have self intersections as it sweeps down the pathway so you'll have to keep that in mind as you're creating your own uh, twisted sweep down a pathway um, that you have to space it out enough so that the corners don't touch. So we let it generate, makes your geometry, uh, and gives you something kind of neat to uh, stick into some of your designs. So uh, this has been Ryan Dark with Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out our other videos for more tips on using SOLIDWORKS.